Hi, I'm Michelle Renee Hyatt of American Quilter Society, and we're here at AQS Quilt Week Branson. And we're with Patty Nelson, who has won an honorable mention in her, for her quilt, Auntie Tess. So why don't you tell us, Patty, a little bit about your quilt? Okay, uh, the quilt is a hand, traditional hand needle turn applique quilt with hand uh, embroidery on it. Um, it um, whose pattern? It is, yeah, it is uh, designed by Corliss CRC from Australia. And then you partnered with? My quilter, her name is Erin Marth, and she did a fantastic job. Yes, well your applique is just beautiful. So this mixed, this used your skills of applique as well as piecing. Yeah. Um, and so is there a part of the quilt that you enjoyed making more than the others? Um, I probably tend to like the, the needle turn applique just mainly because it's portable and I can take it anywhere and do it. I'm not tied to a machine. But it did have a lot of piecing in it, um, you know, with the stars and the kind of stars over here on the on the border. So it had quite a bit of piecing, but I enjoy the applique the most. Okay. And then also a little bit of hand embroidery yes. as well, which is really making a, a comeback these days. Yes. It is just stunning and I love your color combination. So was this your fabric picks or did you use a kit? Um, I used a lot of stuff from my stash, uh, but I also got just other fabrics too. Excellent. Well, your color balance is beautiful. Now, Tell me a little bit about um, what you call this quilt, because I know you have a different name for it. Right. Uh, the the name the designer gave the quilt the name Auntie Tess, and I'm not sure. Other than I know she used this circular part was her inspiration from a an, a vintage um, ladies powder compact that was oh. a circle, and so the design was etched on that. And I think well I know she used that for her inspiration. So she named it Auntie Tess for some reason about that, I don't know. Um, I renamed it actually Just Breathe because um, my, I was a caretaker for a friend who had a double lung transplant in 2020 in St. Louis and we had to move there. Uh, he had surgery, we had to live there for three months and so I sat in hospital rooms and doctor's offices and rehab centers for a long time and I did most of the needle turn applique there okay. um, and he recovered he's doing great he does everything he wants to do now and so it was a, a, a very good outcome stressful time but a good outcome and so this helped me keep my mind off of the what Stitch ifs. therapy yeah yes yeah. yes yeah. so Perfect. it's called just breathe um, if anything were to happen to me, he gets the quilt. Excellent. He's pretty oh, attached great. to it as well. Perfect. Now, I've seen this quilt a couple of times at our AQS show, mm -hmm. uh, but this is your first quilt that you've entered in a quilt contest. Right. I entered it in Paducah last spring, and that was the first time I entered a quilt in a large international show. I mean, I've done state fairs and such, but um, nothing like this. And I entered it just because um, I wanted to know what the process was. I didn't think I'd get accepted. <laughs> I, s I was shocked when I did, and I certainly didn't think I would place, but I did get third at Paducah. Perfect, an honorable mention here. Yes. Which is great. Well, we love having your quilt, and we love that you entered it and took a chance with it. I think many people are afraid, so I'm glad you shared your story that, you know, it, you don't know unless you try. Right, yes. right. And, you know, the entry process was easy, and I had some experienced quilters that have sent their quilts here for many years that I reached out to that kind of gave me suggestions on shipping it and that sort of thing. So it was it was all around a good thing. Good experience. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I am so glad that you shared your quilt with us and I can't wait to see your quilt with us in Paducah this year. Yes. Um, and thank you for entering. And I hope you will enter a quilt in one of our quilt weeks.